الله أكبر كلما هل هلال وأبدر الله أكبر كلما صام صائم وأفطر الله أكبر كلما تراكم سحاب وأمطر الله أكبر كلما نبت نبات وأزهر الله أكبر كلما طعم القانع والمأثر الله أكبر كلما صلى مصل وكبر الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Greetings of peace, mercy and blessings everyone Thank you for watching Alhambra Studio Foundation This is Aziz Live 360 Subhanallah, there is always something new happening around us There is COVID, there is Russia, Ukraine situation there is high prices of living, long hours of work, family and community commitments, etc. Our lives become chaotic that we forget what day it is or month, let alone our precious sacred calendar of our religion, the Islamic calendar that was created for us for our own benefits and like the commercial calendar that was created for the secular world. This calendar was created by the marketing companies. You have Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, this day and that day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, although we have Mother's Day and Father's Day every day, Paul's Day, etc. The secular, secular calendar is designed to suck the life out of you by spending money on things that Jesus, for example, uh, may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be up in him, never celebrated. But the sacred calendar that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger, may the peace and blessings be up in him, made for us is for our benefits. It's a calendar that is unique and changes all the times. Ramadan, for example, comes during the summer, the winter, the spring, in the fall five years from now Ramadan inshallah is going to be in the winter the easy days so that brings us to the night of half of Sha'ban Laylatun Nisfi Min Sha'ban there is a couple of hadiths that highlight the importance of this night the night of half of Sha'ban or Nisf of Sha'ban Abid Darda radiallahu an reported that the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam Said Laylatun Nisfi Min Sha'ban Yahbitu Rahman Laylatun Nisfi Min Sha'ban Yahbitu Rahman Azza wa Jal Ila Sama Idunya Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down his commands, his Rahma or Malak an angel to fulfill his wills. Fayanduru ila a'mali ibadi and he gazes upon the acts of the servants which you may ask is he always seeing the acts of the servants well of course he is but whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he does something which he already always does it means extra emphasis that means the sins are multiplied and the good deeds are or rewards are multiplied everything is multiplied whatever you do is multiplied it's exactly like praying uh, directly behind the Imam on the first row. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gazes upon those servants because there is extra rewards in praying on the first rows and we all know that. So every time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he does something that we already know in general, he does it actually means it's emphasized and maximized. فَيَغْفِرُ he forgives those who are seeking forgiveness and he relents upon those who are relenting unto him and he answers those who are asking he suffices those who are relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Sidi Ahmed al zarruq in his commentary of Hizb al-Bahar, he actually says, 
the dua of a person is of different kinds. The first is the dua that he feels and he knows as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give it to him or answers his dua. He feels that because every time he makes that dua, a sakina descends upon him. A sakina means tranquility. He feels calmness. Every time he makes that dua, so he, he calls it dua of a sakina, dua of tranquility. Secondly, there is a dua of al mutar dua of someone who is in complete desperation. The third kind of dua is dua al mutawakkilin the dua of someone he has no desires. He's in a complete state of submission and sakina. He's uttering the dua that is in the sunnah out of ibadah, out of worship to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And he's totally relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a tawakkul. And if you notice the dua of the sunnah, most of them are very, very general. Then he says, and the people who have feuds, he leaves them off, feuding with other people. And he forgives whoever he wishes, except a mushrik, a qatil nafs the murderer, or al-mushahin. Uh, al-mushahin is someone who is either um, fighting with people or picks fights with people for no reason. And also, mushahin also means someone who is an innovator in aqidah. Uthman ibn uh, Abu al-As reported that the Prophet of Mercy, may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him, said, إِذَا كَانَ لَيْلَةٍ نِصْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ وَذَهَبَ ثُلُثُ الْلَيْلِ If it is the night of half of Sha'ban, Nisf of Sha'ban, and one third of it is gone, meaning just shortly after the prayer of Isha. يَنْزِلُ اللَّهُ Tabaraka wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down to the earth of this world and he says, Hal min da'in fa'ujibuhu. Anyone asking so that I can give him or so that I can answer his dua. Hal min mustaghfirin fa'aghfiru lah. Is there anyone seeking forgiveness? I'll forgive him. هَلْ مِنْ تَائِبٍ فَأَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِ Anyone seeking relentless so that I may relent unto him. Meaning anyone trying to draw near to me away from sins. That's our repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the tawbah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is when he gives us the tawfiq to do so. When he guides us to do the tawbah. فَيَغْفِرُوا لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِلَّا he forgives all the believers except Zaniyah taksibu bi farjiha, a woman who earns by her private parts. Aw Asharan, Aw Asharan, a false tax collector. So, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't forgive these people in specific? Because simply they harm the people. In society he says the prostitute and the tax collector and lawful tax and someone who has uh, shahna a man with whom he has a feud or people who are picking fights all the times so when it comes to targhib fi nisf min sha'ban the encouragement to give life to the nisf of half of sha'ban there is no specific ibadah or worship but there are different things you can do in general. Uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu anhu reported that the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam said, إِذَا كَانَ لَيْلَةُ النَّصْفِ مِنْ شَعْبَانِ فَقُومُ لَيْلَهَا وَصُومُ نَهَارَهَا 
If it is the night of the Nasf of Sha'ban, stand its night in prayer and fast its day. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلْ يَنْزِلُ فِيهَا لِغُرُوبِ الشَّمْسِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends into it until Maghrib time or the sunset. فَيَقُولُ أَلَا مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرُ لَهُ Is there anyone seeking forgiveness so that I can forgive him? أَلَا مِنْ مُسْتَرْزِقٍ فَأَرْزُقُهُ Is there anyone seeking the rizq so that I can make him wealthy? أَلَا مِنْ مُبْتَلَى فَأُعَافِيهِ is there anyone tested with trials and tribulation so that I can relieve it for him? Ala kada ala kada hatta yatlu al fajr. Is there anyone like this or that until the dawn time comes? Akhrajahu ibn Majah fi sunanihi wa al-imam al-bayhaqi fi shu'ab al-iman. The next hadith is the Asbahani fi targhib عن معاذ بن جبل رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من أحيا الليالي الخمس وجبت له الجنة ليلة التروية وليلة النصف من شعبان whoever gives life to the five nights he's guaranteed paradise the first of Rajab the night of the two Eids and that's three the night of Nisf of Sha'ban, that's four, and the night of the power, which is the night of Lay Laylatul Qadr, and that's five. Ihya'u layla min al-layali simply means all forms of good deeds, whether it's sadaqah, prayer, dua, tasbih, reading the Quran, all forms of getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ba'da a'udu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-Rajim, Ha-meem wal-kitab al-mubeen, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ Now, it says, اللَّيْلْ أَيُّ لَيْلَةٍ لِمَا اللَّيْلُ عِوَضًا عَنِ النَّهَارِ وَلَيْلَةُ مَنْ When it comes to layl, to the night, اللَّيْلْ مَحَلُّ السُّكُونِ وَالْهُدُوءِ وَالْتُمَأْنِينَ The night is when you have the tranquility, when you have calmness and security. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the, uh, about the layl or the night Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-Rajim Inna nashi'at al-layli Hiya ashaddu wat'an Indeed the hours of the night Are more effective For concurrence of heart and tongue And more suitable For words Or in another words dua Wa ayyu laylatin mubaraka Is it laylatul qadr Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr هل هناك اشتباك or اشتباه بين ليلة القدر وليلة النصف من شعبان Is there a link between ليلة القدر the power, the night of power or the night of the نصف of شعبان So ليلة النصف من شعبان ليلة مباركة ليلة البراءة وليلة الرحمة The night of the night of uh, نصف of شعبان it's a blessed night it's the night of uh, رحمة of uh, mercy إن أنزلناه في ليلة مباركة حامين by the clear book indeed we sent it down during a blessed night indeed we were to warn mankind so شعبان is very significant for many reasons beside being the time that Muslims start getting ready for the month of Ramadan it was also in the middle of the month of Sha'ban or Nisf of Sha'ban when Muslims believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam to change the Qibla or the direction towards which Muslims face when they pray from Al-Aqsa Masjid in Jerusalem to the Holy Kaaba in Mecca. Al-Aqsa Mosque had been the Qibla for 13 years in Mecca and for nearly 18 months after the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, migrated to Medina. So verses from the Quran were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, instructing him and all Muslims to turn towards the Kaaba in Mecca when they pray. Most interpretations date this incident to the middle of the month of Sha'ban, Nisf of Sha'ban. And traditions of the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, show that it is recommended to fast this Nisf 
or half of Sha'ban. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to do good deeds and to fast in this day, insha'Allah. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings, everyone.